In this edition of Tech It Out, are we doomed when magnetic fields flip? We see how scientists implant memory into a bird's brain. And a salute to Nobel Prize winners. How can we make lithium-ion battery flexible? You only need a compass to know we are surrounded by the force that lines up with the globe's axis, the magnetic fields, which gives our planet life. Without it, solid particles would strip away the atmosphere, just like what Mars experienced. You would think the magnetic fields always steadfastly points to the north and south poles, but in fact, it doesn't. The field drifts, waxes and wanes to the extent that it can completely reverse its polarity where north is near the Antarctic and the south could be somewhere around Canada. Evidence shows that a reversal has happened countless times, but it can only be roughly estimated that thousands of years are needed for it to shift and back again. This could all change, with researchers saying they've found the most precise reading yet in a cave in southern China.地球有生命就是因为有磁场地磁场对地球的一个最大的功能往往需要上千年的一个年代，但是根据我们最新的研究呢，我发现这个时间呢是比我们所知的还要短很多。The magnetic field left its marks on the Earth's crust. For quite a long time now, volcanic rocks have provided a solid archive. Lava flows hit up the rocks, activating magnetic minerals inside, and this preserved the orientation of the magnetic field at the moment the rocks cool down. Another source of evidence comes from columns of sediments on the floor of our oceans. From there, we can look back in time. But both approaches are far from ideal. We know that the water is not linear. 就不是一个连续性的记录。那这成绩物来说呢，其实呢，我们就可以获得一个连续的记录。那唯一的问题就是这些材料往往我们很难去做定年，所以它的年纪啊、它的年代的变化呢，不是很容易、不容易去了解的
它就像我们这个水泥啊，本来是流动的，它突然干固了，它把它固定住了啊，就是一样的效果，把这些小石铁给封起来。In 2012, Cho's team excavated one meter long stalagmite. The record from the sample proved that 98,000 years ago, the magnetic North Pole was somewhere in the southern hemisphere. 我发现这个石这个石器呢，它地质上一个很大很大的转变，它它发生地磁倒转。接近是完美的南北倒转，它的速度非常快，完成从南极啊转到北极这个这个过程呢，它只要一百到两百年之间。That's ten times faster than what we had believed, indicating that some reversals could occur within a human lifetime. If an abrupt shift happens in the future, which is technically possible, how worried we should be. 过去这个地球上是一个很平常的一个事情。变化很快之后，它又维维持一个稳定的状态，又恢复了。所以呢，这是对我们生物的影响呢，可能呃没有想象中那么大。当这个地磁场它在不稳定的状态下，这些太阳风或者这些高能量粒子啊，它就会呃比较靠近地球，对我们的卫星啊，对我们的电子通讯材料其实是有很大的一个影响。The field has weakened by 15 percent in the past 150 years, and this polarity is once again drifting away. But that doesn't mean we should be concerned about impending apocalypse, like the kind depicted in disaster movies. From past Earth's change, whether it's space or height, it represents a change in the Earth's internal shape. So, how the future will change or how the past will change is what we need to understand. One major bonus of having a drifting magnetic field. Is that auroras will be visible from much lower latitudes, including cities like Beijing. So, nighttime skies will be even more dazzling. Hello and welcome to Science a Saturday. Now, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in Stockholm has announced the 2019 Nobel Prizes in Physics, Medicine and Chemistry. One half of the Physics Prize goes to the U.S. scientist James Peebles for the theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology. And the other half to Swiss scientists Michelle Mayer and Tidia Quelos for the discovery of an exoplanet orbiting a solar-type star. The prize in medicine has been awarded to William Kalin, Sir Peter Ratcliffe and Craig Semenza for their discoveries of how cells sense and adapt to oxygen availability. And the prize in chemistry has been awarded to John Goodenough, Michael Whittingham and Akiro Yoshino for the development of lithium-ion batteries. A group of American scientists from Texas University have taught zebra finches to sing songs they've never heard by implanting devices into their brains. Researchers were able to artificially program song memories by activating proteins in the brains to manipulate neuron activity. The research shows for the first time that behavioral goal memories can be implanted. The scientists hope that this knowledge could one day be used to treat autism. Virgin Orbit, a launch service provider for small satellites based in the United States, has announced its intention to launch a mission to Mars as early as three years from now. In a statement released in early October, the company says it's working with a Polish firm to develop the mission. Details have not been revealed yet, but the company says they could take images of the planet and its moon Phobos and analyze the atmosphere while looking for subsurface water. Google has removed from its App Store a mobile role-playing game centered around the Hong Kong protests. The game, Revolution of Our Times, sees users play the part of a protester who can buy protective gear and weapons to use against authorities. Google says the game has been removed because it violates its policy against capitalizing on sensitive events while denying the rumor of a request being made to take the game down. This has been Science Saturday. We'll see you soon. 
Well, three scientists have been awarded the 2019 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their development of lithium-ion batteries. Their fundamental work started decades ago, making it possible for us to use everything from mobile phones to laptops to electric cars. Many subsequent scientists have been inspired and to continue improving lithium-ion batteries. To learn more about such improvements, I visited Shanghai's Fudan University, where researchers are working on the next generation of lithium-ion battery-powered devices that aren't just portable, but flexible. Li Yan Su is the best suited to make batteries. First, it's very light. In comparison to other batteries, to make batteries, its battery is very low. The energy density is very low. When we are developing lithium-ion batteries, Li Yan Su is the first choice for us. The battery has a positive cathode. A negative anode and a separator in between to keep the two electrodes from touching each other and shorting the circuit. All of them are surrounded by electrolytes. During discharge, the movement of lithium ions from one electrode to another facilitates the flow of electrons, which generate current to power your devices. How should we make batteries like this flexible? Researchers show me this. Wire-shaped battery. This is probably the thinnest, lightest, and most soft battery that we have ever seen. Scientists say the basic structure is the same as the traditional battery. The only change is its shape into a soft fiber. That thanks to a newly developed material. We use titanium alloy. It is very light. It is very soft. It is very strong. It is very durable. It is very strong. It is very durable. It is very strong. It is very for the lithium-ion battery, you've probably been warned a risk of explosion should heat or pressure break the separator. But look at this. The new battery can still work when stabbed with a knife. The trick is here. Instead of fluid electrolytes, scientists use conductive hydrogel with both the flexibility of a fluid and the stability of a solid. Just like the ELF we mentioned in a previous episode, this battery could also be needed as cloth being a perfect partner of flexible screen. We have a high voltage, 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 and we can use it to make the high voltage, it can be able to make it to the outside, it means that we have a high voltage, and we can make the high voltage, and we can see the TV, we can change the TV, it 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 can change the TV. The way to make ultimate soft display is to turn your clothes into a screen. And what you need to do is to make threads luminous and chargeable. What exciting and crazy idea. With the invention of two special fibers, I hope to see you guys soon on your t-shirt. To know more about Illuminous and Fiber mentioned in this show, please search our homepage on CGTN.com and check out our previous clip on Futuristic Screen. That's all for today. If you have any comments, please let us know and stay in touch with us on our website and social media. This is CGTN's Take It Out. We'll see you next time.